Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. It's always starting out here looking at sun imagery of the last 48 hours on our sun, and we did earlier report of the X class solar flare, X 3.3. Solar flare, bottom right-hand side. Lots of plasma filaments shooting away from there. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see lots of plasma dancing around the surface, equatorial region, north and south right now. Outgoing on the right-hand side, that's where we will see the multiple M-class solar flares and X-class solar flare coming from Sunspot number 3575, which has been the busiest so far. Huge plasma rocketing out into space. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. We did have active region there, equatorial, but most notable, 3575 sunspot region. Propelling a very large solar flare, X3.3 solar flare and it did produce an instant solar radiation storm. Minor coronal hole to report there in the southern hemisphere. Having a look at 171 angstroms, right now we have an active seven sunspot regions. Amazing to see the umbral fields of all these sunspot regions, especially on the left-hand side incoming. And then just another light here to see our sun in action. The last two days of imagery, Solar cycle 25 ramping up. And I'm really grateful to have you all here for this journey. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under R3. Strong radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, S2. Solar radiation storm impacts are expected. That's moderate. Solar winds right now are coming in at 394 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, healthy spikes there, M-class solar flares and X. Solar proton flux elevated up into the solar storm moderate range. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. Space weather prediction spiral showing the CME partial of that plasma CME that shot away from our planet, from the sun, heading towards us, and that it is visible here, and expected arrival 12th into the 13th of February. Quick look here at that CME. And ISWA Space Prediction Spiral has not updated their Spiral just yet, still showing that large CME taking off from the backside of the sun. And then the DRAP absorption map showing this long duration X class solar flare as it zapped over the Atlantic Ocean and Africa, and then long duration over South America, and it is now over Hawaii where we saw a large 5.7 earthquake. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energy leaving our sun. Watch in the last few images there. Coronal mass ejection. Producing the instant static frequencies into the satellites. Boom. Boom. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as things are ramping up. That's right, just now we had a 4.5 earthquake, Malibu, California, along the coastline. That is an area that has been inundated with rain and extreme weather, as well through the Gulf of California, three earthquakes there, 4.4 ranging to 4.7. And then we get to Hawaii, multiple aftershocks after a 5.7 earthquake reported Hawaii. We also saw a large 6.1 earthquake here, Kermadec Islands, north of New Zealand, 6.1 earthquake, 
And our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours happened today. 598 kilometer depth, 4.5. And as well, I have full Tonga. And as well, another one, 541 kilometer depth. So very deep earthquakes today. Across the Pacific Plate, that is our busiest area. But notable earthquakes here on both sides of Japan. Heads up, Japan. We could see a reverberation earthquake straight across the Pacific westward. Seeing all this activity into the northeast Pacific right now is a little bit concerning. So heads up, let's just have a look at USGS, show you exactly where this earthquake occurred. Right now they are reporting 258 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, slightly above average. 50, 56 of them occurring here at Pahala, Hawaii. 5.7 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. And this is not the region that was swarming last week. This is even more westward, southwest but this is the southeast rift that is going off and has been going off all month. Let's just have a look here at the last 30 days for earthquakes. As they've reported almost 2,000 earthquakes in the past 20 or the last 30 days across the Hawaiian island. So heads up, my Hawaiian friends that are watching right now. I'm sure this is a little bit concerning. This is the largest earthquake that they've seen in quite some time. 5.7 magnitude. So anybody watching in Hawaii, if you felt that, please get in the comment section. Let me know. And please stay safe. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that may be affected. Having a look here, a close look at where the Malibu, California earthquakes were. 4.6 and a couple 3.0s. 2.7 there. So along the coast, California, notable earthquakes. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's have a quick browse at the last seven days for shakers around the world as we're starting to see the deep earthquakes come back and so are the large earthquakes with it. And I did put out an earthquake watch video two nights ago. So for all this to all of a sudden start bubbling up, it was forecasted here with daily, daily events worldwide. So please share this video, this video and this channel with all of your friends and family and as well share with people you don't know. Daily events worldwide, here for you. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast. This is the air quality forecast brought to you by our volcanoes. Notable, sizable eruption coming out of Popo and as well the active volcanoes through Guatemala. Big plume coming out of there. And as well, lots of SO2 heading across the North Pacific right now, heading up into BC, sweeping across the prairies. Then overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia, parts of Australia. Notable eruption coming out of the Philippines today, most likely the Mayan volcano, which has seen multiple eruptions this week. No major new volcanoes to report. No new eruptions. Quick look here over Europe and Africa. Notable the constant SO2 coming out of Central Africa and South Africa through Johannesburg. Now let's get to weather here. Windy.com. Weather forecast mixed with daily events worldwide. Some strong lows moving into Central Europe this week through the Mediterranean. Watch for some extreme weather to break out and as well some very windy conditions. Other than that, high pressure ridge moving in around Valentine's Day. Most of the systems stay northward until after that high pressure ridge breaks down. Interesting blizzard developing there through Russia, northern China. And then overlooking North America, we've got that low pressure system through eastern Canada right now that is going to bring light snow showers across Quebec. Interesting low there coming through 
Tuesday into Wednesday, raking right up the east coast of the United States and then developing into a big storm here for the Atlantic provinces. You've got a blizzard on your doorstep and most likely making landfall 13th into the 14th. So Valentine's Day, you will be snowed in through the Atlantic provinces. Looking across the west coast, some multiple systems moving in this week. And as well, notable there, system coming out of the Gulf. Then overlooking Indian Ocean, Australia, and Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones developing, but lots of moisture through Madagascar and parts of South Africa this week. Central regions, daily evaporation rains, and then big system here developing and coming in through the Northern Territory of Australia and the long range heads up as these models do change. So stay tuned to the daily updates. Much love everybody, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.